question is from Double Zero Silk Drop. Do vegetables and fruits carry equal weight when it comes to nutritional necessity? It seems like they are always lumped together. You mean like in comparison to each other or in general like to other foods? To like, each other. Uh, so Because, you know, we always say eat your fruit and vegetables. Like they're put right. in the same category. Uh. Um, okay, so this is a great question. Now, I would say this in, in the context of today, okay, so modern times, vegetables are more important than fruits. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to get uh, more nutrients. Vegetables tend to kick the crap out of fruits uh, in terms of nutrients and how many nutrients they, they deliver to your body. They tend to be better in terms of fiber, um, and they are typically lower no glycemic. in calorie and lower in sugar. Not always, right? Uh, Not corn, all of them. Corn right. is a vegetable, and I guess a, a potato could be considered one maybe. Um, but but they're, they're lower calorie, higher nutrient. I would say if you had to pick one or the over the other, go for vegetables. Now, if we look at the context of evolution and the context of you know when we were hunter-gatherers, fruit was more valuable because fruit typically had more calories and more sugar. Yeah. I know now that sounds like a bad thing, but let me tell you something. It was a good thing a long time ago. Yeah. Like you didn't if you were looking for food and you if you stumble upon a field of, you know, uh, broccoli or a field of apples, the apples are more likely to make you survive. Right. They've got more calories. They've got more more usable energy. More usable energy. Um, but these days it's it's vegetables. It's yeah. I, I don't even push fruit on my kids that much. I mean they'll mm -hmm. have some fruit here and there, and that's their snack every once in a while. Yeah. But it's the vegetables that make a bigger yeah, deal. You don't have to worry about scurvy as much now, <laughs> yeah. which is good. Wouldn't you? I would say though uh, a cup of a cup of berries from a fiber point. If we were going to compare, like if you have somebody who doesn't have. Trying to think of like all the times where maybe I've I've rec actually recommended fruit. Yeah, that's a good exception, right? Yeah, like so you're like the, one one thing that I do common that's common. Like if I have somebody, I always have people, clients monitor their stool and pay attention to that. And if I have somebody who has constipation and I notice that they're really low on fiber, they're not getting enough. And maybe they're you know they have you know some asparagus spears at dinner and they had like a you know iceberg lettuce lunch and so they in their head they're eating enough greens and so they think they're getting a ton and they're, they're not it's not a ton of fiber okay so mm -hmm. you know a handful of asparagus and a salad for for lunch doesn't equate to a ton of fiber uh, that somebody would need and if you're somebody who's listening and that is a could be a normal day for you uh, easily you could be eating under the, your yeah. daily requirement for fiber so having someone eat a cup of blueberries blackberries strawberries raspberries all the berries um, is a, a good punch of fiber. No, this is a good point because on a on a, a volume to volume comparison, fruit actually does pretty damn good yes. when it comes to fiber. The difference is this. The difference is I can eat a lot more leafy green vegetables and not consume the calories. calories. Right. That's mm. so that's what I'm saying in the context of modern life, like vegetables seem to be it's more power packed. Yeah, they yeah. seem to be better, you know. But oh, you're you right, on, on a on a volume per volume Berries have a lot of fiber. Right. Comparison. So that, that's where you, I wanted you to be careful with us recommending that direction because there's been many times where I've had clients that are not eating enough fiber and just simply trying to get them to eat a little bit more vegetables. Is, it's hard because the amount of vegetables that you need to eat, if you if you were to do no no fruit at all and get all your fiber from vegetables, you got to eat quite a bit. You do. Oh, yeah. You got to that's That's a lot. of that's Vegetables a, are meant to be that <laughs> way, by the way. They're meant to be eaten a lot. Eat yeah. the fuck out of them. That's, they're so low in calories. If when humans ate vegetables in the past, we ate a lot of them because right. they didn't give us a lot of calories. They're so not we as sat exciting, though, we sat down and we ate a <laughs> shit ton of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the way you're supposed to eat vegetables. You're not supposed to have just a little bit of vegetables. You're supposed to have a lot of them. And I recommend to people, uh, what, especially people with digestive issues, cook them, cook your vegetables, cook them well. It makes them easily easy to, easy to digest. Don't eat them raw. My God, you eat a lot of raw vegetables and you're. You're in a whole world of hurt. You guys uh, ever do that? Uh, that would destroy me. You ever eat like a bowl of raw broccoli? No. I've oh, never, you're I've fucking never hurting, dude. Yeah. It's I did. never even set up a machine. I could see you doing that. That's never I been did do that. Me. I did do that once, and I was. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't until we. I never even ate vegetables like that until we met. Until we met, and I remember it really was when we saw Doctor Terry Walls. That's right. right? When we yeah. interviewed Doctor Terry Walls, she kind of really opened my eyes on like. Even on my my highest vegetable day, I was grossly under eating. Still, 
on on what we, what we could yeah that taking. resonated with me a lot too yeah it was like I'm just not doing enough and I know Sal's already by that time was already doing his you know bowl like his giant bowl bring a big of old yeah <laughs> bowl of rapini that was stink the entire joint up yeah here. and I I just I had never <laughs> ate vegetables like that and so it wasn't until you guys and Doug also with like his his Brussels sprout recipe like I, now I do this like now I will sit down and have a giant bowl of Brussels sprouts or I'll have a giant bowl of rapini or broccoli or spinach. Like I eat huge things of spinach all the time. So I never did that before. And so I, I imagine there's a lot of people listening that are probably like me where they considered themselves, oh, I eat vegetables. Like I didn't not eat vegetables, but I was not getting nor nowhere near enough of what my body probably needed. Uh, and not, and not, and I know there's someone rolling their eyes right now because it's not needed to survive, but to, to be to optimal get, health. Yes. For optimal health. Yeah. What are the differences that you notice when you eat a lot of vegetables? Oh yeah. No, oh, my, my digestion is awesome. Digestion, your stool, your, your energy levels. My, uh, I mean, I, it just, I felt a 10 times better skin. Like I noticed a lot of little things like that, that were, that were different when basically I, everything vegans promote. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> That's when it actually, yeah. No, no, hundred percent. So uh, that to me, that, those are the things you have to kind of consider. If are you getting that much, that many vegetables in a day, and if you're not, then I do see a lot of value of of making sure fruit is integrated in there also. Yeah. So it's like you either need or you need to have a day that is just plentiful of lots of vegetables and sitting down and actually having a big bowl of of vegetables at one point in your day. And if you didn't, that would be a great day probably to have you know a small cup of berries because a, a, a one cup of berries is, packs a nice punch when it comes That's to That's like such a good point. I guess it would be this. If you're just going to have a little bit, fruit might be better. If you're going to have a nice big plate, vegetables will probably be better from a nutrient standpoint. Energy-wise, fruit kicks ass. They're packed full of, of energy. If we cut out the starchy vegetables that, you know, like corn and, and, and potato, I guess you can put in there. Um, but otherwise, I mean, they're both pretty damn good. They're they're great for you. You can overdo, you can overdo fruit. I'll, I'll say that fruit is so damn palatable. I've had clients in the past uh, just because I said, yeah, I eat fruit, don't worry about it, and they just went nuts on it <laughs> um, and just ate incredible amounts of fruit. And then we had to reduce their fruit intake so that they could drop their calories. So you can overdo the fruit as well, but they're both good. Um, it depends on the context, I guess, would be the answer. 